In this video, we are going to take a look at a recursive method that is not void. This recursive method sends back a value. These have a slightly different twist on them, and once you've seen one or two of them, uh, they should be no easier or harder than any of the other recursions. So let's take a peek at this here. I've called this method S. You can give me a better name for it later on after you see what it does. It takes in one integer. You'll see here the base case. If it's a zero, I'm going to return the number zero. Remember this method actually has to send something back, right? An integer. So this is one way where I end the recursion. If I eventually get to zero, I send back a zero. There's no more recursion because once you return, you're gone and you don't get to this line. Now in any other case, let's say x was 99. This does not occur. And we return 99 plus s98. This is where the recursion is now. The recursive call is actually in the return value. Now there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, 99 is a number. And s98, that's a number, right? s98 is going to be an integer that comes back. You just got to follow the code along and see what this does. So let's see what this does with a very small number that we can follow along easily. Let's just do this with three. And I think if we do it with three, you're going to see the pattern, and then you could do it with 30 or 300 or 3 million. So S3. The three comes in. It's not a zero, so return three plus S2. S2 returns 2 plus s1. s1 returns 1 plus s0. s0 returns, well, it is 0, so I send back 0, recursion's done. Now let's do this on paper to get a bit of a better sense of what this actually will return. So here's my diagram, and it's not as bad as it looks here, but here we go. s3, ultimately the only instruction it has is return 3 plus s2. Well, you got to go figure out what S2 is. If you can find out what S2 is, you can actually return a number there. So let's do S2. Well, S2 says return 2 plus S1. Well, same problem. Let's find S1. S1 is 1 plus S0. Let's find S0. S0 returns 0. Okay, how do we backtrack this now to get our real answer? This is just a copy and paste of above where I'm actually just going to change it. Well, if I'm returning 0, if S0 returns 0, then this means S0 is the number 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. So S1 equals 1. Well, let's go back another level then. I'm supposed to return 2 plus S1. But I know S1 is a 1. So let's put a 1 in there. What this means is that S2 sends back 3 because it's returning 2 plus 1. Well, now that I know what S2 is, I can replace S2 there with this 3. S3 is supposed to send back, well, it sends back a 6. So our overall answer that comes back is a 6. Now does this actually happen when I run the code or is this just uh, make-believe here? Well let's give it a go. Recursive example. This one sends a value back so I have to print this out. System out, print line, and let's see what it prints. So print out method s3 and 6. Beautiful. If you actually wanted to add a little bit to any of these methods to help you figure them out, you can actually do this. System out print line running s with x. Just to see what the value of x is, right? And if we run it again this time, you can sort of see the recursion. It ran s with 3, which made s run with 2, 1, 0, right? And then it eventually figures out the answer. So this one may require a little thinking and sitting, and there's going to be a little problem or two we ask you to do. Recursion's not a huge topic on the AP exam, but it's a topic that they want you to be familiar with. 
There's usually a question or two on the exam with it where you just have to follow the code. Um, I've never seen it where you actually have to write a lot of recursion or any recursion at all. Usually it's about the code reading just to show you have this understanding of it. They don't get too much harder than this. So good luck with that. Do a few problems and then we're going to come back with some actual real world examples of how recursion can be used that'll convince you yes recursion just isn't about these boring numbers going up and down and adding and multiplying